So, but as far as the Kappa, man, um, I remember me, Ray Face, we was in the blue drop. You know, that's why I say Ben Dan it up, Teddy by a day go. You know what I'm saying? Now. I'm in the back. Uh, I think Slim had a bunch of skirts. We was the blue line, little O. He in a drop bin, a drop bins. You know, and, and you see so so many African Americans congregating. Yeah. You didn't have you didn't have uh, police harassing things of this nature. You know, and, and you know it, it, it was more so girls gone wild, the black addiction. Um, all right, so this conversation you about to have, man, this is again, uh, we are all fans, you know, we Dallas and Houston has a, a kinship that, you know, sure. the music that y'all put out, we gravitated towards the music that we put out, you know, uh, got down to H Town. Um, so we're, we're gonna be moving around on this conversation. I gotta ask you, um, you know, one of your iconic flows. Uh, you know, before the world heard, heard still tipping with Mike Jones, uh, Paul Wallen, uh, uh, yeah, Thug. Yeah. It was uh, the Kappa, before the Kappa. It was the Kappa, you know, you, Thug, uh, Chameleon, and you know. Oh, you, uh, Lou Hawk. Yeah, 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 Lou Hawk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody got on that hoe and on. Wow. It's funny because right now we seen a resurgence in, uh, I think, um, Hulu's about to drop a Freak Nick 94 documentary. Mm. And some people who was there for the Freak Nick 94, you know, 30 years ago, seeing what that was, a lot of them don't know about the Kappa Beach Party. Um, for you yourself. Yes, sir. Uh, how, when the Kappa was going down, like when it was at its height, how old were you back then? How would you say? Well, well, the Kappa actually started like 93, 94. Exactly. And, um, you know, I hit, I hit the block, you know, when, when um, I hit the block when I was 14, 15. You know, when I, when I say that, I mean my T. Jones found a cigar box in the in the closet and my brother forgot to jump the cigar and she said, get out since y'all want to be grown. That's when I hit the block. Yeah. But uh on 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 Kappa time, most of the hustlers would go to go to the Kappa Beach party and, and one and and I, I stayed one year it was like man since they gone I can make more money. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Well, you stayed back home while they gone. I stayed at home. Oh you I, smart. I stayed, in one of my Swiss house folks I was like I ain't gonna lie, I missed the block. I probably could have sold a whole bird rock for rock. That was your time to capitalize because when the, when the big homies phone, you know, is waiting at the capital, <laughs> they licks coming looking for them. So uh, you, you probably may have a have a two thousand, three thousand dollar day as a teenager. But but as far as the capital, man, um, I remember me, Ray Face, we was in the blue drop. You know, that's why I say Ben Dan the up Teddy by a day go. You Come know what I'm saying? Now. I'm in the back. Uh I think Slim had a bunch of skirts. We was the blue line, little O. He in a drop bin, a drop bins, you know, and, and you see so so many African Americans congregating. Yeah. You didn't have you didn't have uh police harassing things of this nature, you know, and, and you know, it, it it was more so girls gone wild, the black addiction. But by the same time, you know, um it, it was it was something to do. It was it was a platform for all of us to come on Galveston Street, yeah. and um, the music was the soundtrack to that city. That's facts. So, so when Watts was like, "Hey man, we can do this Kappa CD," yeah. and then we would do the after the Kappa. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was, it was a soundtrack. Great. Move out the way, two story house in Gateway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, and so so uh, we we created the soundtrack for a lot of centuries, and and the Kappa was one of them, and it's one of the most grand events. You know that happened in Texas. Did you go out there while you while it was at the height of before the Kappa? Then after the Kappa, were you still hitting the Kappa back then? Like you, well, you, well, you personally, me personally. Uh, once again, T Jones kicked us out of fifteen. I was more, I was, I was more focused on on, on the hustle. Yeah, getting and, the money. Um, you know, I would as as far as going to different places, I'd probably go to Daytona. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd probably go, you know, with with, with my D boy partners, all my Jamaican plugs. But but as, as far as the Kappa. I really, I'm, you know, at, in that in that mind frame, yeah. me me partying me partying on that level was wasn't wasn't you know that wasn't my focus. It was, it was more so hustling. There you go. There you go. But, but, but as far as music and promotion and being on the scene with Mad Hatter, Paul and Cam, that took me to the capital. Oh, uh, with Slim and, and Ray, that took me to the capital. Definitely, man. Again, one of the most iconic flows that uh you know the the this third coast scene as yes, far sir. as when you when you popped your shit um. Life.
Three stars. Know what time it is.